Hi guys, this is Joy with Obsessed with Scrapbooking and today we're going to go ahead and learn how to do the hide contour feature. So let's get started. I'm on the design.cricut.com landing page. I'm just going to go ahead and start a new project here. And I'm going to go search for an image off here on the left. I happen to know which one I want. <laughs> That's convenient. So I'm going to look in my cartridges and I'm actually going to search close for close to my heart cartridges and I'm going to look in art booking here. See I had kind of thought this out. I love it when that happens. Okay now I found what I wanted to go ahead and work on hide contour with. So I'm going to go ahead and insert my image here. Um, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than this. If I, I can click and drag here at the bottom just so you can, well I don't want to make it too big but I want to make it big enough so you can see. All right so there's our image. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this image and if you'd like to see where to do that, that's up here in this right box. So it says duplicate. Now I've got a second one and I think I'm going to make a third one too. All right. Now what I'm going to be, and I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so you can see. Okay. Maybe even a fourth one. Let's do a fourth one you guys. Okay. And my goal is to make stars, the stars background is going to have different colors. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is click on one of the star boxes. I'm going to change its color. Let's change it to purple just for fun. Okay. Now I've got my purple box here. I'm going to go down to this bottom right corner where it says contour and I'm going to click on that. And in comes a box and it says on the image below, select outline portions to turn the cut on and off. Or you could go ahead and just um, look at these. Okay, I prefer to look at the bigger picture because then I can kind of see what I'm doing. And these, this is actually isn't a very difficult one to do. Sometimes they're a little trickier. Okay, so let's maybe do, I don't know, one more. All right, and then I'm going to close that box. And now you will see that some of the stars are missing, right? So I'm going to go ahead and then lay this, arrange this, go up to arrange, move to the back, and then I'm going to do this. So you can see now I have some purple stars. Now I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to change its color. Let's change its color to pink. All right. And I will go ahead and hide contour on that by highlighting it or just clicking on it really. Click down here on the right, the bottom, where it says contour. And then I am going to go ahead and I can kind of peek around here and see what ones I didn't do yet. I'm pretty sure. Because you realize what you're doing is you're making this solid so that whatever's back there, that will fill it in. See? And so then when you slide this over, you'll be set. So let's go ahead and arrange that up here in the arrange box, move to back. Okay. Probably should have done more. Do you think I should have done more? Probably. Well, we'll do one more and then the back, the very back could be white if you wanted to do that. All right. So I've clicked on that down to the bottom left contour. And let's go ahead. Oh, I didn't color this. Hang on. Let me color this. So I'm going to click on the box itself. See, it's highlighted. The one I'm on is always highlighted. I just click on the image and then I can choose a different one. So let's go with, um, go with this dark blue. All right, now I'm going to go back and click on it down to the bottom right. Click on contour and then I'm going to start filling some of these in. I think I had some kind of bigger pieces. That everything? All right, let's take a look. I'm going to go ahead and arrange that to go to the back. And now you can see that I've created a, <clears throat> a design. It's so much easier than trying to back these little stars with circles or anything else. So now when I want to make this 
background paper. I just layer that up and stick it all together and I'm good to go. I hope that explained hide contour for you guys. I have a second example I'd like to show you. I'm gonna go here to cartridges, search in my close to my heart ones. I'm looking for artistry and I'm gonna use this flower. Okay, here's my flower. My flower is only two layers as you can see here. All right, it's got this, and I'm gonna ungroup it so you can see the two layers. Ungroup, ungroup is in the upper right. So now I have two layers. Let's color this layer. When I click on it, I can go ahead here and color it green because of course I want my leaves to be green, right? But when I do this, now there's green behind the flower. I don't like that. <laughs> about you. I know likey, I know likey. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take this layer. I'm going to duplicate it by going up to the upper right here. And then I'm going to take that one so it's already behind the one I just duplicated. And I'm going to go over here to the bottom right and do contour. And what will happen now is I can put another color behind there. All right, so I'll click close. Now it's solid. Now let's color that um, like a darker, would be a better darker color. Oh good, they conveniently provide that, how nice. <laughs> Look, it, that was pretty cool. I did not know they did that. So now I can just layer this here. I can put this on top. Voila, there's my flower, more flower-like. All right, and you will find there are some cuts like that where it's really convenient to be able to make another layer on them. All right, I hope this helped explain how to use hide contour and that you have an awesome day. Take care.